America's public enemy number one is drug abuse. All roads led to Harlem, and all roads led to Mickey Barnes in those days. Mickey Barnes was the face of heroin trafficking during the 1970s. Every place he went, people just wanted to be around him. He was a true superstar. He was the John Gotti before John Gotti. The Al Capone of Harlem. Our black godfather. He had hooked up with the mob, with the big Italians, and that guaranteed a lot of drugs and that they were going to be good. I mean, these guys could have been on the Fortune 500. There's a CEO and a president and a CFO and a COO. What I call sidewalk executive. There's something that was professional that was being done. You know, so the life, the life was good. I'd have like two, three million dollars in a box of money. He had that benevolence to him. Christmas, New Year's, the Thanksgiving Day turkeys, the spending money. He was giving something back to the community that he was abusing and killing. Mickey Barnes always had a case, or two, or three. He was acquitted. Jury said not guilty. He was Mr. Untouchable. You got the president saying, I want him off the streets. You don't go na 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 na. Yo, what are you crazy? What are you doing? From a dream to a nightmare. This is a brotherhood. Nicky Barnes was a coward. It's revenge, revenge, revenge. There is no loyalty. There's treachery. Go ahead, tell me what it is you have in mind. Uh, they were a couple of friends of mine that were supposed to be doing things for me, you know? Yeah. And, uh, well, they're doing things against me, really. They could call me a snitch. I'm out there in. It's not as though I say, I forgive them. No, that ain't happening. You're gonna take the rule and just use it to make bling, and the king gonna sing.